Intercessory prayer is the practice of interceding or praying on behalf of others. It's both a gift of service and sacrifice. The Bible is full of stories of people interceding or pleading with God on behalf of others. In fact, the redemption story of God sending His Son Jesus Christ on our behalf is the ultimate act of intercession. Jesus came here to be a living example for us before dying on the cross to intercede for us and our penalty for sin. There are many ways we can intercede on behalf of others, and we certainly ought to do so. But once again, interceding in prayer on behalf of others is the greatest gift we can give. Intercessory prayer can take many forms. We can pray for people. We can pray for God's church, the body of Christ. We can pray to affect change in our world. We can pray for those who are hurting to find spiritual, physical, mental, and emotional healing. We can pray that the chains of bondage to sin, addiction, and generational afflictions might be broken. We can pray that the lost will come to know Christ and that the lonely would find community and connection. James chapter 5 tells us that the prayers offered in faith are powerful and effective. As suggested in the previous video, if you're unsure where to start, there are many wonderful prayers already written or typed up and accessible in a matter of seconds. With time and practice, this intercession in prayer will get easier. And the Holy Spirit understands and intercedes on our behalf when our spiritual groanings do not know what to pray. In preparing for this video series, I asked a number of people their biggest questions relating to prayer. And I've tried to answer many of them throughout this series. How do I pray? How do I know if God is listening? How do I know if God is speaking? Many of the former questions and most of the questions in general deal with the issue of faith and doubt. What do we do when we struggle with doubt? I've prayed in the past, but God didn't answer or didn't answer the way I had hoped. This has caused me to doubt my faith and the power of prayer. Please understand that you are not alone and know that God is okay with your honest wrestling. He wants to connect with you in that space. In Mark chapter 9, there's a story of a father with a son who couldn't speak and was possessed by an unclean spirit. It's evident by the tone of the story that the father loved his son very much and tried everything to help him. I imagine time after time that help failed and the father's hope and faith would continue to dwindle with each attempt. Not even Jesus' disciples were able to help that day. In one final desperate attempt, the father came directly to Jesus to plead for help for his son. The father says, if you can do anything, take pity on us and help him. Jesus catches that if you can moment of honest doubt and questions the Father, not as a rebuke as one might think, but as an acknowledgement of the very real struggle every one of us must confront when it comes to our faith. The boy's father responds in a way my own spirit has cried out a time or two. I believe, help my unbelief. In that raw, unfiltered, transparent honesty, Jesus meets us as he met the Father that day. Jesus healed the man's son, but I believe the even greater healing was the restoration of the Father's faith. He desires to restore our faith as well. Father God, thank you for loving us enough to send your son, Jesus Christ, to intercede on our behalf. Thank you, Jesus, for your sacrifice in taking the penalty of death that was meant for us. God, thank you for sending us the gift of your Holy Spirit who continues to intercede for us. Thank you for the privilege of being able to intercede on behalf of others. Please help us to lean into that responsibility by giving us a heart for others and helping us to remain in prayer for others. In Jesus' name, amen.